Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Atlas Single Player Modded. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead today. I'm going to go ahead and, and make some cannons. We're going to make some ballista. We're going to make, I don't know what else, but we're definitely going to arm and armor this. Well, not armor, but we have to arm this this boat. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to see. I've got at least, I want to do at least one side full of cannon. So let's go ahead and see what we got in the way of skills and see what I need for that. They don't have anything right now just yet. So that's going to be over here in artillery is what I'm going to need to do. I've got 423 points, so I should be able to do quite a bit. So let's see. Let's go to seamanship. Let's drop down to uh, artillery right here. That's fine. And then let's go to artillery. And let's go with, let's uh, see, cannon studies right off the bat. And then increase the reload speed of the cannons that you're using. Absolutely. And sighting speed increases the sighting speed of cannons that you're using. Yes, absolutely. Actually, bigger cannons. Uh, I don't think you know. I don't. I don't. If I remember right, the bigger cannons aren't all that great. Maybe I'm wrong with that. We're gonna try the small. I, mean, I don't think these actually even fit on the brigantine. I think those are only for the galleon. So I think we're gonna wait on that. I think we're gonna wait on that. Uh, bar shot. For, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, bar shots for taking out. For taking out mass, but that's against other play or other players. So on uh, against the ships of the damned, I don't think that works. Let's drop these down. Let's get all of this and all of this, and then let's go ahead and let's talk about let's talk about explosive barrels, shall we? Let's talk about that. Yeah, I think that's an important thing. Let's see what else we got. Advanced large cannon sighting speed, large cannon, large cannon, large cannon. We're not doing any of that right now. But we probably do want swivel gun and canister shot. And then we probably are going to want the advanced or swivel gun. And I'm probably going to want mortar. I think we're going to want mortar studies. I already know it. Okay, so, and all the way down, the best mortars we can get. Did I get all, the best I can get? Not yet. Nope. Okay, there we go. Now we're down to 373 points. I don't know about the Gatlin gun, uh, the Puckle gun. I don't know that I really care about it. I, I know my guys can, I can put my guys on the Puckle guns on shore and they never run out of ammo, right? They, or they're, 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 they can't be killed. They can't be killed. So they're immortal. That might be important. Matter of fact, I'm going to learn it. It might be important, actually, especially for taking out animals that are on the, on the um, Power Stone Islands. That might actually be something I might want to think about. But we definitely want siege studies right here for the ballista. And I want to ammunition. I already got my ammunition storage. All right, let's do that. Let's make an ammunition storage container. By the way, I was hot, which is why I took off my, cl my clothes. Um, I usually wear just fur. But, you know, I'm probably going to have to switch out because temperature. All right, right off the bat, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Let's make a... Oh, I got to make a food larder. I forgot all about that. I got to feed my people. So let's put this food larder downstairs right quick. Because these guys got to eat, man. They got to eat. They deserve to eat. Can I put that right there? Yeah, the food larder can just go right back in here, I think. That's fine. Let me go grab some food for them so that they don't starve to death. I really wish that it had the same ability as the as the preserving bags. This is all my extra stuff here. We'll just throw in we'll throw in some wild rice. We'll throw in some acerola. Actually, a stack of each of those, and that'll and you know what, a kai as well. They don't it didn't really matter. They'll eat anything. I think. Pretty sure they'll eat whatever I put in front of them. They are my crew after all. Bink bink bink. Okay, they, I saw that somebody ate. Okay, they're eating rice right now. So that's cool. They prefer the vegetables. I'll have to come back and check on that to make sure that they don't burn through it. But there's 10 of them, so I expect that they're going to eat quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and go. Like I said, let's go ahead and try. I, I want ballistas, and I want I want cannon, though. Let's do, do the cannon thing. So let's see. Cannon. I need alloys for a 28 alloy for each one. So let me do the math on that right quick. 28 times 6 is going to be 168 
alloy. I need 168 alloy. All right, let's go do that. 168 alloy. We'll go up here to the forge, see what it's going to take. And boop. All right, so iron alloy. It doesn't matter what alloy it is. Coal, iron, and wood. All right, so let's go grab. I know I've been saving my coal for this reason, too. So hopefully I've got enough. I have 922 coal. I got 1,250 ingots, and then we're gonna need some wood. I don't need all that wood. Go like that. Oh, I can't hardly move. We do a 500 stack of each. Looks like it's gonna get dark in a second. Let me go ahead and put my lantern right here. There we go. That way we can work while we're doing this. And let's just go like this. And then iron ingots. Craft them. Oh, wait. What am I missing? I have iron. Oh, it needs to be iron, not metal? Oh, put that out. All right. I'm going to have to go. Let me grab some money right quick. We're going to have to go and exchange the, the metal for iron. At, because we're at, we're at a... We're at a... Um, a free port, man. We've been getting uh, treasure maps and whatnot, so I need. To, I got. I got quite a bit of coin now, though. But yeah, we'll. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to take for me to do, but I got to exchange this for iron. So let me go do that, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, it looks like I can't. Uh, can't exchange metal. There's no exchanger on that or in that free port. So uh, I'm going to put this back. We're going to have to go a different direction. I think I have some copper in here somewhere. I've got 342 copper, so instead of this, we're going to go with copper. I don't know what else I have to do for that alloy. That's the only other that's the only other metal I've got, so let's go. Let's see, copper ingot. I need sap. That's fine. I've got sap. That's good. We may not be able to make all six of our, our cannon right now. I may only be able to make a couple, so let's go ahead and make, get some sap right quick. Sap, I've got a ton of that, so let's do this. Yeah, I don't have any other metal either. Right, that's cool. Not a big deal, really. Easily fixed, but... Hopefully I can do more than 28, though. Let me turn this on. There we go. Copper ingots. Oh, I can do 171? Oh, wow. Yeah, we're totally down. That's only two copper apiece. Oh, we're good. We're way good. Yeah, okay, so that's going to work itself out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, hang out here while we do that. And then we'll see what happens. All right, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We had a few more copper ingots we could have made, but I'm going to go ahead and just take this right now. We're going to go ahead and do it. I'm tired of waiting because I'm anxious to get my cannons up. Let's go ahead and throw this in right here. Boom. And go cannon. And craft a ship cannon right here. I can do five of them is all I can do, really. What am I going to be short on here? Am I really going to be short on alloy? Maybe I will do the rest of them. I didn't think I was going to. I need at least six. I want at least one side uh, completely covered in cannon. See if that'll be enough. Yeah, I was short three. Uh, and I stopped at like five before it was it was done. So, you know, that's, that's fine. There's that. And then we got plenty of metal here. So we need to go ahead and do the medium cannonballs. I made gunpowder earlier. So I've got... 500 gunpowder right here ready to go so we'll go ahead and make what all we can for that cannonballs medium cannonballs i can make 41 cannonballs we're going to do that it's not a ton but it'll work it'll be enough for now now i also need the resource box the ammo box ammunition container right here there we go all right, we got six cannon. Now all I need is people to 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 be on these cannons, and we'll be good. Now this guy right here, um, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go with um, use cannon. You can use the cannon for right now, and then I've got another one downstairs that we can use a cannon as well. That way we're not wasting any materials. We're not wasting any materials on on them constantly repairing. I think I'm gonna because. The understanding, my, my gaming partner was saying that she was running out of thatch on a regular basis. And I, I, she suspects that it was because she had some 
maintenance guys doing work all the time. Because even if you're down by one point on your planks, your maintenance guys will take care of it for you. But that's going to take a certain amount of material out of your resource box. Whether it's one point or 50 points, the, uh, the guys are going to repair it. And it'll cost the same amount. So I'll put these two. I need four more guys to go on my cannon. But first of all, but ne first I want to go ahead and get a few ballista. Like I, I, I know I should, I should probably put. I can I, I need to put an angle up here so I can get a cannon up above this. So I can fire back or as I'm going away. And then I also want to have a couple in the front, I think. I'm pretty sure I want to do that. So let me go ahead, and we're going to think about that for a second, but let me go ahead and make a ballista or two, because I'm going to need those for when we hit the, um, the island. I want to, because the Cyclops, they, uh, they die pretty quick to ballista. So let's go ballista. Okay, guys, it looks like for ballista, I'm going to need a lot more alloy than I've got. So I'm going to have to go to another island outside of this grid to get some more copper or iron or whatever. So I right, right away, though, before I leave Freeport, I want to go ahead and make sure that I have enough guys to man all this stuff. So I'm going to go buy four more guys. What many people can I have right now? I can get, I can have 20 crew. I've got 13. So if I get four more, that'll give me 17. Yeah, that'll be plenty. That'd be plenty good. Let me go ahead and make sure I have gold. Do I have cold, gold on me? Yeah, okay, I got, I have gold. All right, so we'll go get four more crew members. That'll give me 14 crew. Yeah, 14 crew. And that'll be good. All right, one more time with feeling. One, two, three, four. All right, guys. All right, what do we got? Okay, who do we have? We got Feared Joe Nine Fingers. He's the other, he's the second Nine Finger I've had. We got. Uh, Pretty Joe the Wanderer, Pretty John the Wanderer, Ugly Mary the Mighty, and Old Joe, Joe Jr. JJ, how are you doing, JJ? All right, is everybody following me? Well, not everybody's following like they should, but all right. Okay, we're good? All right, do we have all of our cannons, man? One, two, three, four, five, six. We do. All right, guys. I'm going to armor and arm these guys because I want to make sure that they have plenty of protection. Hopefully, I have everything I need for that. Oh, this tannery's got to go. It's in my way. Okay, I'm going to make all the armor and, and a sword for each one of these guys. And then I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. We have all of our cannoneers ready to go. They are all armored. They are all armed. With swords, at least. I don't have any firearms just yet. That's to be done in a future episode. But, and everybody has their uh, their their armor on for up in the up here manning the sails. Okay, and it looks like it's going to rain, so I'm probably not going to go out because I don't want to get uh, worry about cyclones. So I'll probably wait until this passes over, guys, and then we're going to go out and test these cannons to make sure that it's going to be all right. Because I got I need to do a little test run to see how it's going to be. Well, if I'm going to fight them with this new system in place, because I don't know how it's going to be. So just give me a couple of minutes here, guys, and we'll be right back. Okay? All right. Okay, guys, we're going to head west. I'm not going to worry about those uh, ships of the dam just yet. I want a couple more cannon on. So we're going to go ahead. I need more resources that these uh, Freeport Islands don't have. They have regular metal. They have regular flint. They have regular stone. They don't have anything that's a different type, which would allow me to be able to make my alloys so i got to go get alloy material and so that means i got to go into another grid so we're headed west right now we're gonna go, we should be there well northwest i guess but we should be we should be in the next grid in a couple of seconds and then we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna i'm gonna make a few more cannons and a few wall pieces and some ceiling pieces and a little bit of extra armor for the boat yeah so we'll be right back guys it's taking a few minutes to do that all right let's go ahead and let's slap on Slap that guy on there. <clears throat> this guy right here. That one. That one. And then we're going to go ahead and go with some roofs. And by roofs, I meant ceiling. So and this is the roofs right here that you want to use. Go ahead and go right here. 
Put that right there. I don't know if I can get in between this or not, but we're going to try. Can I get in between this? I don't think I can. No, I can't, but that's all right. That's fine. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to move this forge because it's not going to work like this. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Because I will get stuck. So I got to move this forge. It's in the way. That'll give me the height I need for my cannons. And then we're going to go ahead and go with... Go right here with this one. And like this. And up top will be my ballistas. All right, let's go ahead and slap on. Be like this. Those two. Do I can get up on this? Yeah, I can. Go like that. And then we want the same thing like this right here. I can get. There we go. This is your basic, um, like, turtle armor that you see you see people uh, putting on their ships. Put it as far out as it'll let me. I still need to be able to get up the back whenever I am coming in on the ship. So I got to be, I got to space these a little bit. Go like this. Now they'll have a little give to them. They'll have a little give to them. Not much, but they don't have much, so I'm not too worried about that. That way I can get back up and down this ladder. All right, and then up front here, we're going to go ahead and go with some walls. Go with ceilings here and there, there, and there. And I'm going to have to move this as well because it's just not, uh, there's just not enough room here. Uh, there's a mod, guys. It's a, it's a ship, uh, it's a ship decor mod that has the smaller versions of these stations in it. So I'm probably going to actually end up destroying this and destroying that forge and then using those smaller versions for my ship. Since we're, this is a modded, a modded series anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and add it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this loom right quick. And... As soon as this is done with the alloys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demolish this too. Just to give me some more room to play with. Because as it stands right now, I don't have a ton of room. i got to make sure I have enough room to do what i got to do. I'll put these here just to give me a little bit more stability. And also to be able to get, let me get in and out of here. So I can get up and around. We can go around like this. Oh, I can't get through there, so... I'm going to have to get used to going this way. So that's fine. But it's a little... I mean, I guess I could always just jump, right? We can always do it that way. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and with this, we're going to go ahead and put... I mean, I'm going to need to put some more ceilings here. And what I'll do is I'm going to put ballistas in the front here so that when we go up to a Golden Age Ruin... Island, we're going to be able to go ahead and take out Cyclops from the front if we need to. Because I need to be able to do that if I can. So I'm going to need some more crew to do that. We don't have nearly the crew I need to make this the ship I want it to be. But as soon as I do, we're going to be set. We're going to be good, doing pretty good. So I'm not too worried about it. Alrighty, guys. I had a little heat stroke incident, but I think we're okay. Alright, let me go ahead and just drop this down. I think we're going to go ahead and actually put these stairs like right here if it'll let me if it'll let me go in and out and go up and down i don't know if it will or not come on come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. like this and then go like that that one can go there that can go there yeah that's fine 
that works out really well. And then we'll do the same thing. Uh, no, we won't do the same thing there. I'm going to leave that open right there so I can get in and out. So I can get, Oh, well, actually, it won't really matter. Yeah, I'm going to want that. I'm going to want that for whatever whatever reason. All right, so if I, because this way, if I'm, if I'm, if we're sailing and there's a whale following me, I can go up here and I can fire. Also, I can pull a couple of guys off and have them sit on these ballistas. What I can do is I can have them, I can bring them right here and then tell them, get on the ballistas or get on the cannons. I don't know. You probably might want to go on the cannon. I think I'm going to go ahead and put four guys on the cannons uh, just permanently because I think that that's probably the easiest way of doing things. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to go back to the Freeport, and then I'm going to go ahead and get at least seven more guys. I think seven more guys. There's four for the cannons in the back and three for the ballistas up front, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how I'm going to I'm going to roll with it. I might have them not on the ballistas unless I need them, but we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, we're coming right up on these guys. I'm going to burn right through them. If I can, don't hit it. Oh. Yeah, they didn't even have a chance to see me. And I just brushed right up against them, didn't do any damage or anything. So that's really good. Okay, guys, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and buy four more. One for each one of these cannons. The ballista stuff, that can all happen just as I need it to. I don't really need it. I don't need all those people on my boat. It's extra, it's extra coinage. It's extra food. So right now, I think four more will do me. So that'll make, what is that? That six for the cannons and eight for the sails. So that's 14. Another, it's going to be 18. So it's going to be 18 man crew. Plus me, it'd be, a, it'd be a 19 man crew, 18 crew and myself. So yeah, that's not bad. I think it's going to be fine. Um, I went ahead and raised it up so that my ship can carry 18 guys. So actually, I think it can carry 21 right now. But I'm I'm not going to use the extra three slots. I think I'm going to leave it for right now. So we can go ahead and see what we can do about buying three or four more, three more guys, four more guys, four more guys. All right, you come here, like right here. Get on that cannon. There we go. So now, guys, so this worked out. All right, this works out. So all I've got to do is pull these guys underneath. They'll go on the cannon. If I take them off of this, they're going to want to go to the ballista right above them, which is great. That's perfect. All right, I'm going to make a few more cannonballs, guys. I don't know how many I've got. I don't think I, I don't know if I have enough. Let's see. I have 82, actually. I'm good. And actually, I think I've got some more. I've got some more ballista bolts here too. Okay, there's that. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna give this some more resistance on this. We're at 220 percent resistance on this boat, so we shouldn't. We should take half damage now. So I'm hoping that this is gonna do the trick. Hopefully, we can go ahead and do some damage. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna see about the ship of the damned and see what we can do to to sink this sucker. Let's go. Oh no, you know what, dude? Hang on. That I'm sorry, but guys, but this this sail right here, it's going away. It's entirely too. It's got too too much going on here. So we've got one guy here that doesn't have a job. I don't know where he is, but he now does not have a job. It's that guy right there. Hang on, I see him. He's a lonely fella now. Let me um. If I can get him to come to me. Come here, dude. Come here, Ugly Joe. You, sir, are the only one without a job. So I'm going to put you downstairs. Come here. Where'd you go? Okay, I need you to be really close to me, okay? Come here, bud. Oh, he just dropped down. That's cool. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm going to let him be here, and I'm going to give him my repair hammer and my bucket. So hopefully he's going to go ahead and he's going to repair whatever needs to be repaired. That would be nice. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and take this thing out and see what we can do. Hey there, big boys. Yeah! Go, 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 go! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, we're taking some hits. Oh, and God, one of my guys got hit. Go ahead and flip it. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull sail back a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to pull sail. Get him! Nice. Oh. Come on. Get him. There we go. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. I'm way too fast. Well, there's a downside to these sails, man. Definitely a downside to these sails, so. All right, guys. Well, this is a learning experience. I definitely need more cannonballs when I go out because there's like five ships. And my guys are burning through cannonballs pretty quick. I was speed, speeding by these other ships way too quickly. And the turn on this is just really squirrely. So I'm thinking we are going to go ahead and take a couple of guys off the sails. I want to keep the sails, I think. And I want to go ahead and make sure that, that we're able to you know, go at a good clip when I want to to get to point A from, from point A to point B. But if I'm going after ships of the damned from now on, I'm going to have to take a couple of guys off those sails because for sure, for sure, I need more control on what I'm doing. And I need to be able to, to kite those, those ships in a different direction. You know what I mean? I only have 20 cannonballs left, but so but I think we're going to go ahead and just, just do some strafing runs and see if I can get a little bit more practice on this because it is way squirrely. Go! Go, 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 go! Get him! I might be out of ammo. Nope. There it goes. That was a brig that went we took down. Now I don't know if I can actually get there and back. What's the damage looking like? Like not hardly any. I mean some, but not bad. All right, I'm going to see if I can swim there and back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I really hope I don't lose my ship over this. Hey, dudes. Oh, God. Shark, shark, shark. Shark, shark, shark. All right. Oh, yeah. He was after me. Why am I stuck? Oh, no. Why am I stuck, dude? I can't get up. I'm glitched on the ladder sideways is what's going on. All right, well, we got to do we have to jump because I don't have a choice. Come on, dude. Because he hit me when I was going up.
See, you glitched me again. Oh, there it is. Woo! All right, guys. <laughs> um, there. Okay. I have light. All right. Yeah. So that was that was something, huh? All right. So that you know, I mean, like I said, guys, it's one of those things where it's going to take some practice. Oh, what's the loot you say? The loot is blueprint for a common medium weight sale. Blueprint for a common uh, small weight sale. Uh, common catapult turret. Looks like it does, it does 101.25 damage. Got a mortar shot. I've got a boulder. I've got a grape shot. One liquid flame, one puckle bullet, and two large cannonballs. And one ballista bolt. Nothing I use. Pretty much, except for the ballista bolt. So, yeah. That's interesting. I, it is foggy as hell, and I don't know how... And I know that the free port is going to be a pain in the butt to try to fark in. All right, guys. Well, you know, uh, we made it across the wall. made it away from the, the ships of the damned out of that fog. So, we're in another grid right now. And, you know, it took... It's going to take me a minute to get used to this these sails. I think maybe there's something to be said about not being as fast as, as this is. There's something to be said about being too fast. And I think the ship is a little too fast. I think I need to back off on my sails, probably maybe cut them in half and see what that does. Although it's nice to be able to get across the grid in like four or five minutes. It's, it's um, really super hard to control. So what I think I need to do is I need to be able to grab these guys and assign them to different tasks besides just being on the sails. And so I'm going to run like, I think, maybe half the sails this next time that we play. I want to see what's going on with that because, I am I mean, it, I've got the firepower. I've got, you know, I've got the speed, but I need to be able to stay ahead of the ships of the damned without, like, just going right through them. And I, I need to have more control. And, I, and when I say more control, I mean it needs to be less squirrely. So we have the speed. The wind gives us control, but too much of it. So I think that's where, where we're going to go ahead and try to tweak it next time. Because this is an ongoing process with this boat because of these sails. And I like the speed. I need to be able to get to my destination very quickly. But I want to make sure that you know it's not going to kill us in the process. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think that's probably going to do it. We're going to go ahead and call it here tonight. I'm, I'm over here by an island, and we're, gonna, we're safe, we're sound. And I'm going to go ahead and think about this. We're going to tweak it. Why don't you let me know in the comment section what you think about maybe some ideas for not being so squirrely on the control and still be able to have enough speed that we can go ahead and do what we got to do. I think taking a couple of these guys off the sails are oh, the way to go. I really do. So yeah, and uh, this video is really long, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did enjoy it or you learned something, well, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.